Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is Afghanistan and Pakistan, and we're fortunate to have two individuals to uh, talk about these two countries that have been in the news quite often as of uh, late. Uh, the uh, Director of Outreach for the Is Islamic Center in uh, Nashville, Dr. Amir Arain, and uh, the author of the uh, book, A Short History of Pakistan, uh, Ms. Jane Hussein, are both here to uh, talk about these two respective uh, countries uh, today. And of course, Dr. Arain and uh, Ms. Uh, Hussein, let me welcome both of you to uh, the show this morning. Thank you. And to tell you how delighted we are to uh, have you here to talk about what we consider to be a very, very important topic. And I think the uh, world, in a real sense, feels that uh, this is a very, very Im important topic this morning. Let's start off with you, uh, Dr. Arain, by uh, having you to give us some information in reference to your background, your education and some of the things that were important in terms of leading you to us this morning. And then Ms. Hussein will give us similar kind of information in reference to her background, education and experiences. And then perhaps during the second segment, we'll talk about uh, Pakistan and uh, Afghanistan. Let's start with you, uh, Dr. Thank you, Assalamu Alaikum. Mm -hmm. Peace and blessings of Allah be to you. Thank you for inviting me and I'm honored to be on your show. Uh, as you know, I'm from Pakistan, I was born born in uh, Karachi there and uh, later on my family moved over to Saudi Arabia and I grew up in Saudi Arabia. I did my high school in Saudi Arabia so I had the opportunity to see the two societies and after my high school went back to Karachi to do my medical school and from there onward I w came to the uh, United States to do my residency and fellowship. So by the virtue of my profession I'm a neurologist and specialized in epilepsy and affiliated with Vanderbilt. Mm -hmm. Uh, I've been associated with the Islamic Center of Nashville since uh, 2002 and have served on their board as vice president and currently serving as a vice president as well as the director of the outreach program. Uh, I've been involved with the Pakistani community here. There are about 200 families in the greater Nashville area and I've served as the, Pakistan, uh, the president of the Pakistani American Association of Nashville. Very good. Uh, Ms. Hussain. Yes, um, I did my undergraduate work at the University of Chicago and majored in history and social studies. Mm -hmm. And then I married into a wonderful Muslim Pakistani family mm -hmm. and lived there for 17 years, raised my children there, mm -hmm. and continued my studies in the history of the Pakistan area. Mm -hmm. And at some point, the uh, Oxford University Press mm -hmm. asked me to write a series of history textbooks for young people in Pakistan. And when that was finished, it became a, uh, was uh, combined into a book for the general mm -hmm. readership mm -hmm. on the history of the peoples of Pakistan. Mm -hmm. I also, when I came back to the United States in the mid 80s, I was a research fellow at Columbia University in New York, con continuing, I wrote the, the fourth book of the series there. Mm -hmm. And uh, since then I've been working at Vanderbilt University here in Nashville. Mm -hmm. And so both of you have been involved in scholarly activities as well as other kinds of uh, information relative to Afghanistan as well as Pakistan. Let's mm -hmm. uh, see if we can start off, uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Arain, by having you to uh, give us some information relative to uh, the uh, history, perhaps, of uh, these two countries and how they sort of come together. Mm -hmm. As you know, Pakistan was established on 14th August 1947, born out of South Asia. There were two countries which were established at, on that day, uh, 14th August for Pakistan and 15th August for India. Mm -hmm. And the idea was that the two countries will live as good neighbors mm -hmm. and there'll be a significant, significant amount of minority in both countries mm -hmm. to uh, guarantee the rights of minorities. Mm -hmm. However, there was a mass migration and that resulted in uh, bloodshed. And since then, the two countries have not had good relationship. Mm -hmm. And India, and Pakistan. Pakistan, India and Pakistan. Mm -hmm. And they have fought about three wars and have come to close to the brink of war several times. Mm -hmm. And in 1998, both achieved the status of having nuclear weapons. And that has been an issue. As far as the issue of Afghanistan is concerned, we share more than 1,500 mile long border mm -hmm. with, on, on our western border with Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. And that has been created by the British Mm -hmm. And it's sort of an artificial boundary mm -hmm. between those two countries as the same tribes live on both sides of the mm -hmm. border. And that has been relatively very porous. Mm -hmm. 
So our relationship with Afghanistan has not been very cordial from mm -hmm. the beginning. Mm -hmm. When we applied for our UN uh, representative, our membership, UN membership, mm -hmm. uh, Afghanistan um, voted against it. Mm -hmm. This was the, f the only country at that time who voted against voted, it. Uh -huh. It didn't have much of a say, but it was symbolic that mm -hmm. ha we have not had any cordial mm -hmm. relationship. Mm -hmm. Very good, and of course, uh, we're getting ready, uh, Dr. Arain, for the uh, first commercial break. And when we come back, we should have about eight minutes during the second segment sure. to allow uh, Ms. Hussein to start off talking about uh, the uh, country of Pakistan. And of course, we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. <laughs> 